Hey, welcome in. Well, it appears that leftist commentators like uh, Joy Reid on networks like MSNBC have just been emboldened to be just flat out, outright racist. It's at a point now where they, they don't even try and have an argument. I mean, they just are racist. I mean, that is their argument now. Their argument is just they don't like white people. That's it. I mean, here's the headline. Joy Reid compares Cal Rittenhouse's male white tears to Brett Kavanaugh's. And, you know, what do they have in common? Well, they're, they're both white males, so I guess it's just open, open season. Anyway, let's take a look at this uh, TikTok video that uh, she has put out. So this Kyle Rittenhouse trial, it reminded a lot of people of something, something, I just can't remember what it was. Oh, the Brett Kavanaugh hearings, in which Brett Kavanaugh, who had been accused by a high school friend of committing sexual abuse of her, cried his way through the hearings to make him a permanent member and Associate Justice of the United States Supreme Court. And his tears turned out to be more powerful than the tears of Christine Blasey Ford, which were the tears of an alleged victim. But in America, there's a thing about both white vigilantism and white tears, particularly male white tears. Really white tears in general, because that's what Karen's are, right? They Karen out, and then as soon as they get caught, it's like, Green waterworks. White men can get away with that too. And it has the same effect. Even as the right tries to politicize the idea that masculinity is being robbed from American men by multiculturalism and wokeism, they still want to be able to have their tears. So this is just idiocy. I mean, this is a bad person, okay? For one thing, this case, had, the Rittenhouse case, has nothing to do with Kavanaugh. She also lies in there and says that uh, Blatchy Ford was uh, his uh, Kavanaugh's childhood friend. Not true. She also skips over the fact that Blasey Ford was uh, a liar and there was absolutely no evidence. And the media and Democrats were trying to railroad him and wreck his life. Kind of like what's happening to Cal Rittenhouse. But you see, to her, uh, Kavanaugh and Rittenhouse, they're not really people, right? They don't have a right to, uh, to that. They don't even have a right to defend themselves, apparently. I mean, what a load of bollocks. It reminded a lot of people of something. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. You, you, only you. Now, she does make clear in this that she doesn't only hate white men. She hates white women as well. She says that they can carry it out, and as soon as they're caught, bring waterworks. What world is this person living in? Well, she's living in a world where she can say anything and get away with it. She's an outright, I mean, just an obvious outright bigot. And it appears to me that she's just glorying in that. I mean, she probably can't believe that nobody's stopping her. She probably can't believe that her bosses aren't saying, hold on, wait a second. You can't say that. That's insane. You can, you can actually, I think, see the glee in her face. I mean, I'm not a mind reader, but it sure looks like she's enjoying it, isn't she? Saying insane things, awful things. Yeah, an 18-year-old who is being attacked by the media, by politicians, by the state itself for defending himself, which even, you know, Jeffrey Tubin on CNN and Chris Hayes on MSNBC, her colleague on MSNBC, have admitted at this point. They've admitted that, yeah, he should be acquitted. You might wonder, what is the point? What is the point of people like Joanne Reed? I mean, it's insanely divisive, but I guess, you know, if it makes money for her, if people keep paying her to say those things, she's going to keep saying them. And it appears to me like she enjoys it. She really enjoys it. And the backdrop of this is that, you know, he faces a mandatory life sentence if convicted. Mandatory. I mean, that's the backdrop for her gleeful, gleeful race baiting in a case that has nothing to do with race. Let's see. Leo Terrell said on, uh, on Fox News, Joy Reid, something is wrong with her. She is the queen of racism. She has a problem with white men. Yeah, checks out. Uh, Douglas Murray, who's brilliant, by the way, I would suggest that you read uh, The Madness of Crowds. Excellent book. Uh, he said, what a crazy old racist Joy Reid is. <laughs> that really sums it up. What a crazy old racist Joy Reid is. I guess we'll end it with that. 
Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Please subscribe, like, and share. That really helps me out. If you just like to listen, there's the podcast radio baloney. It's on pretty much every platform. If you look for it, you will find it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.